everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain how to draw a use case diagram of university management system in Star Europe. Before starting this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. Just click on model, add diagram, and select the use case diagram. You can see at the left, all the toolboxes, all the use cases related to the use case diagram. First, select the use case subject and just drag it how much you want as per your choice. Just give it a name like university management. Now you have given the name and created a use case subject. The second step is to add the actors. So in a university management system, I'm going to add four actors. The first one is just click on actor and click anywhere you want to add the actor. And the first actor is department staff. Now I'm going to add three more actors. Same, just click and click anywhere. The second actor is teacher. And the third actor is YSD. The last actor is Dean. So these are the four actors. Now, the third step is to add all the use cases inside this use case subject. How you can add is just click on the use case from the left. And the first use case I'm going to add here. I'm going to add a use case related to what the department staff do. A department staff can enter university information like grades and missed exam so department staff can add university information so we can just write enter university information this is the first use case that is being connected with the department staff second use case that i'm going to add is related to the teacher what a teacher can do is enter student attendance and marks. So just click on use case and add it. Enter student attendance and marks. So this is our second use case that we're going to just make it down it. The third use case that I'm going to add is related to again the department staff. One more thing the department staff do is enter students information. Before it was enter university information, but the department staff also add student information. So just add the use case, enter student information. This is the third use case that we have added. Now, the fourth use case is again connected with the department staff. What is that? that the department staff can create documents for the educational process. So let's add this use case. That is education process. So let's take it at the center. We can decrease its size a little bit, but what we can do is just Increase our use case subject size so that it looks more good. Now, one more use case that I'm going to add is for the wise team. What a wise team can do is the wise team signs permission documents for education processes. So let's add a use case that is sign permission documents. So this is a use case that is being done by the vice dean. The last use case that I'm going to add is connected to the dean as well as with the vice dean. The vice dean and dean can view student information. They can view student information as well as the exam information. So let's add the use case, view student information. Now, now it's time to connect all the actors with use cases. And as you can see at the left, there are many 
relationships and many people are confused between these different relationships. Here in this university management system, just we are going to use association relationship. What, how you can connect the association relationship between the actor and the use case. Just click on association at the left and just select the department and drag it with the use case that is enter university information. As you can see, it has been connected. One thing that you say, it gives you the ability to write here. You can write anything like department staff has the ability to enter university information. It's not important, but it's your wish. So let's drag it at the center so that it looks more neat and good. Now let's connect department staff with its more use cases that we have added by clicking on association from the left. And department staff can also enter students' information. Department staff can also view student information as well. So these are the three use cases that we have connected with the department staff. Now, let's check with the teacher. What a teacher can do? Teacher can enter student attendance and marks. So just again, select the association from the left and drag this teacher with this use case. It's very easy to connect. Wise team. What a wise team done is, is sign commission documents. Let's take Dean and Vice Dean at the bottom so that it looks more neat. Connect the Vice Dean with the signed permission documents and Vice Dean also view student information. So let's also connect it. We can change its place to make it look more good. If you look at it, Dean, Dean also performed the two things. That is, Dean can also sign permission documents and view student information. So let's connect it. Oh, okay, we have done a little wrong. Press Control Z. If you can press Control Z, it will just take us back. Again, click on Association and just drag the Dean to sign permission documents. You can just change its place a little bit. Now, again, select Connect the Dean with the few student information use case. Now, this use case is left that is create documents for education process that is that is done by the department staff. So as you can see, why department staff has been written at the left? Because actor that performs with many use cases, that does many use cases is always at the left. That has that is the most important you can say. Actor, which is the most important, is always at the left. And the other you can add, you can say this is the primary and these are all the secondary actors. I hope you have liked this video and understood it well. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. Thank you.